Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So yesterday someone tried asking uh, how he can go get good with Linux and this happened all the time like people approach me and they ask like how works how we can get good with Linux. Well, uh, there are always like uh, there, uh, I always see two kinds of people uh, when they approach me and uh, it's not their fault. It's just like how the word is. So there is one uh, one kind which is you know which which people who like hacker culture people who like a uh, free software community and people who enjoy these things uh, who want uh, who enjoy computers and they just want to tinker more and they want to do more changes but then there is some other kind which is uh, uh, which come from the other background and the reason of learning linux is because they are computer science student and they want to move to cloud space they want to learn about things like AWS or uh, they want to uh, basically you know just improve their skills related to Linux uh, for a purpose and the purpose is just to uh, basically improve their you know like engineering skills basically so it's not a user's perspective it's uh, it's the other perspective it's not the you know mindset that I want to tinker with my system I want to hack my system I want to you know do whatever I want and uh, what happened is these people who come from this background that they want to you know learn about Linux so they can work with technologies like AWS services uh, they always end up in a really bad um, uh, space like uh, in, a, in like they buy Udemy courses and they attend seminars and you all know like people out there give a shit about Linux a lot if you you know just if you are a computer science student you know but it's always because uh, you know people use Linux in uh, servers. People use Linux. These technologies are required. Okay, but I recommend people to. Uh, so what happened is this person uh, told me that uh, he tried communicating with people, but nobody was helping him um, in in a in a way which um, he or she wants. Okay, so. I, I always tell people to do not learn from resources which come from this other side um, for example like mostly you know courses and some corporation trying to teach Linux and even in my college uh, this was the case so you know the reason why I say this is because it kind of kills the fun of in learning Linux you don't enjoy learning about Linux and they just teach you the things which is required uh, for your job only and you don't explore this thing so what I always t tell to my students or anybody who uh, want to learn Linux is first understand the philosophy behind it first understand about free software because that person had no idea about free software and I just got a little bit you know triggered when he mentioned oh free software he means open source well not really okay so I, I then you know wrote a long messages uh, like telling that why uh, my my installment mode <laughs> you know my inner installment got a little bit activated okay I am not calling myself stallman like oh, I'm too uh, live for that so yeah what what I was saying is that um, if you want to really learn Linux then you have to understand the uh, mindset behind a um, uh, hacker okay and when I say hacker it means a person who wants to you know just uh, break apart his system and these people are mostly afraid of installing Linux in, um, in, in their own machine like in bare metal so they want to use uh, like virtual man, uh, virtual boxes and things like these and I always uh, deny people using virtual boxes to learn Linux if you want to learn Linux that the best way to learn Linux is just installing it in your own system and then using it and uh, the second step is try to uh, decrease the amount of graphical user interface you use just live in terminal because if you learn terminal well this is what you mean by learning how to use Linux okay you, you don't really want to learn about kernel like how kernel is working you just want to learn like how I can use Linux with terminal because uh, even if you want to do your server things this is how it is okay and if you learn Linux from a user perspective this will make you a lot better than you know just learning uh, for, for like server related stuff okay so what I mean by just you know from user perspective means that 
for example you read news you can use cli tools to read about rss uh, like just use tools like rss news board so always use tools which uh, which, which doesn't require any technicals okay uh, which is something like you know just image editors which are cli based like image magic or video editors like ffmpeg so things which you always do in your daily life like uh, so if i have a video and i just want to post it on uh, something like instagram so instagram don't allow webm videos so i'll use ffmpeg to just convert uh, that um, whatever like webm video into mp4 okay so this is something which uh, these kind of things which I do daily life but I don't use uh, you know like I, I just use CLI tools so similarly there is this another example which I forgot and I'm not going to mention because I forgot so yeah so I really hate uh, like when people kind of uh, just use Linux as a stair for like learning process of Linux as kind of like a stair for their growth in their jobs and uh, if you if you are entering into Linux, you have to understand that uh, it's it's about you know you 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 get the control of your system and it's a big thing and it's a fun thing and you should also learn the idea behind it, uh, the FOSS philosophy and all and you you shouldn't say that FOSS is open source but I I also understand this is mostly uh, they are noobs so they make mistakes and. Uh, if if they find the right path, if they find re real communities, communities which uh, where people understand the idea of us, then people will help them and they will learn better and faster and they will actually learn because, you know, then they will feel for software, which is not something I endorse. But, you know, once you start feeling for software, once you grow feelings for software, it, it becomes passion and uh, you end up learning. So never go on that side. And if you find someone like this, just tell them that you are doing it wrong and, uh, you know, you should do it in the right way so that's my video and uh, yeah thanks for watching